history. All the things we hold near and dear to our hearts. Hitting the Civic Center music stage this week, Chicago, which begins its run tonight, runs through Sunday. It stars John O'Hurley. You'll remember him from Seinfeld and various other TV shows, such as Dancing with the Stars and even Family Feud. Had a chance to talk with TV star after he addressed those in attendance here today. Seventh most interesting man in the world. John, break that down for us. This implies perhaps that there's a top five list. Well, as the seventh most interesting man in the world, I realize that uh, there's only six people that are having a better day than I am. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's from his Twitter account. It seems it's so easy just to have snarky comments these days. But you're actually saying, hey, hey, thanks for your comment. Thanks for having us out here in Chicago or, or wherever. Well, it does. You know, I, I, I actually enjoy social media because it does give me a chance to... Uh, to engage people, uh, and people that enjoy the show, and they never have a chance to say thank you in person, and I never have a chance to say thank you to them. So it's a way of, albeit through, you know, kind of a, a, a little bit of a distant medium and in, in, in texting, but it gives you a chance to say, at least engage some of the people that really are supporting your entire career. So I enjoy it a lot. I actually, and it was my wife that actually got me engaged in, in social media. She says, you really have to do this because there are people out there that just want to say hi. What keeps you coming back to the stage instead of just packing it up and saying, Hey, I did Seinfeld. No, I, I, you know, for me, it's I, I just I enjoy the different aspects of my life. I live I live literally by my imagination. Whatever my imagination tells me to do, those little pictures in my mind, the daydreams that I have, I always I always follow that because I've always. Uh, I always believe that that's what I'm supposed to be doing, that I'm being led in the direction. So I don't listen to my mind, I listen to my uh, imagination. And uh, it's always, it's never steered me wrong. John O'Hurley in town for Chicago at the Civic Center all this week. You mentioned beforehand, uh, you're very pleased with the cast. Uh, talk about your castmates. Yeah, we do. We started this tour um, up in the Pacific Northwest in uh, the 1st of uh, September. Uh, we're on about our 13th city right now. We've got about 20 in total to do this year. and. It's just, I, I think this is easily the best uh, touring cast that I've had. And, I, and I'll say that because, and, and, and say that and then regret saying it because I'll have to leave it, we'll have to put it all down at some point. Uh, but uh, it's been just a remarkable group of, of, of kids who really get the Fosse style and really have understood the, the wonderful piece that Kander and Epp have written. I think this is easily the best music and the best um, choreography that, uh, that um, this show has ever had. He's got the looks, he's got the voice, he's the seventh most interesting man in the world. John O'Hurley, thank you for your time. Appreciate Great it. Great to be with you. You bet. Once again, Chicago continues its run at the Civic Center Music Hall through Sunday. Now, also, Celebrity Attractions announced today its upcoming 2014-2015 season. That will include the Phantom of the Opera, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Once, Camelot, and the Million Dollar Quartet. Of course, there's more shows in this season after Chicago, which includes Beauty and the Beast, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat and Sister Act. In Chicago starring John O'Hurley this week at the Civic Center Music Hall through Sunday.